Butternut Ski Resort is a medium-sized Massachusetts ski resort on the East Coast with an elevation of 1,800 vertical feet. A vertical drop of 1,000. It has 100 skiable acres and on average gets 115 inches of snow a season. Now this is our resort review series where we go to a brand new ski resort, we absolutely rip it, we shred it, we explore, we see what it has to offer, and then we come back here and we give it a score from 0 to 100. Now the way we're going to get that score is by going over 10 categories. Each category is going to get a score from 0 to 10. Now 0 is not applicable meaning they don't have it at all. One is terrible, five is average, and 10 is best in the world. And that's just how we're gonna rate these ski resorts. You're just gonna have to deal with it. But after we go through all 10 categories, we'll give that score from zero to 100. And then I'm gonna tell you who this resort is for. So if you wanna come on a ski trip, maybe not to Colorado, and you're looking for other places to go, well, that's what the idea of these videos are for. Is this a great place for you guys to come check out? Now let's jump into lift prices. Butternut is a, is a little unique in this category because on a weekend it's $90 to ride, which is not terrible. It's under hundred bucks, which is really nice. But if you go on a weekday, you're looking at $40 for the day, which is actually incredible. Super cheap to ride a super fun resort like this. So when it came to lift prices, I gave them a six because that weekday $40 price range is pretty nice. Obviously weekends are gonna be more expensive because that's when more, more people are going, which you would think would be kind of the opposite because you know, more people, it's not gonna be as fun. Anyways, now lodging, ski in, ski out. Can we stay on the resort at Butternut? And sadly, you cannot. But on their website, not only do they have a bunch of hotels that they recommend, they actually have like a search engine and everything, which is super rad. So when it comes to lodging, if the resort offers a way to find lodging nearby, we give them a one for that option, even though they don't offer it themselves. Now ease of access, how easy is it to get to Butternut? And you know, it's in a hilly area. It's not in this crazy mountainy area. If you flew into Albany, you're like a little over an hour drive to get there, which is super nice. So when it came to ease of access, I gave them a six for ease of access, a super easy ski resort to get to. Now, if you're wondering why we went to Butternut Ski Resort, it's because we have this crazy goal to ride every single ski resort in the United States, and you guys can track our progress by going to resortskimaps.com. Now, this is the resort map of every resort in the United States. All the green snowboarders are the places that we have been. You can click on them and watch our videos there, watch resort reviews from there. Literally see so much information of these ski resorts, but if you click on a red snowboarder, there's still information, but that just means we haven't been there yet, so there's no video of that resort. Now, you can click the top right-hand corner and see our schedule for the upcoming season, see if we're coming to your ski resort, so you can kind of show us around, hang out with us. It's always really rad to meet you guys on the mountain. But truly, resortskimaps.com is the coolest website for planning ski trips and just checking out every resort in the world. It's like the most incredible website in the world. And so I'm stoked that we have that and that is linked in the description. Now lifts, we gotta get up the mountain. How are their chair lifts? Well, they have five lifts and five surface lifts. So not only gonna be able to get a lot of beginners up the mountain, but they're gonna be able to get all the typical skiers and snowboards up super easy. I think they have like one high speed, the other kind of just older lifts. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy about them. So I gave them a three for the chair lifts. They're gonna get you up the hill. But now that we got up, we gotta get down. And for runs, they have 22 options for you. They're kind of just like plain runs that are, you can't really go into the trees, at least when we were there. There was literally no tree skiing. There's only snow that they've made on the run. And it's all just kind of mellow, kind of like, mm, I give them a four for runs. Like there's variety with 22, they're kind of long, but meh. But the terrain park blew our mind. We were not ready for the terrain park. Literally, this was the most fun, I think, park riding I've ever had on the East Coast. Super incredible rails, not just like build-wise. Everything was built really, really nice, but it was very creative, super fun. Large features, small features. The park flowed incredibly well. Jumps were a little on the small side, but the park, was definitely like, it stood out to me still, like when I look back, still stands out to me how fun that terrain park was. So when it came to the terrain park, I gave them a four for the park.
Now, if you're enjoying this series and you like this goal to riding every single ski resort in the United States, you guys can help us by snagging an evolution sticker. We do have a ski version for all the skiers out there as well. Snagging the merch, throwing it on the side of your helmet, letting everybody know your part of Team Monkey House really does support the Dream Guys. That's how we fund all this traveling and everything like that. As you guys snag it, any of my merchandise is all linked down below. And if you do snag it, tag me on Instagram. We'll give you guys gear and sticker shouts in my vlogs. Thanks for everyone that buys the evolution sticker. You guys are incredible. We also have a ton of like colors and styles and versions, just so you know. Now, food! Believe it or not, we actually did eat at this ski resort and it was very lodge style food. Now they do have three other options, so they have four options in total to eat at, but it's very typical ski resort food, nothing like incredibly standing out that's like, oh man, this is the nicest food I've ever ate in my life. So when it came to food, I gave them a five and average for the food. Now views and scenery. Uh, this is one that I need your guys' help with because it rained on us the entire time we were there. So I really didn't get to actually see the views and scenery, but kind of the vibe and the other resorts that I rode in the area, I kind of think I know what it's like there. So I give them a three for views and scenery. Let me know if I I'm wrong, you know, I googled some pictures and stuff too. If you can see, let me know if it three fits. You know, East Coast is kind of like a little bit of hilly, a little bit of trees. It's not like super high up Colorado view. You no, know I'm saying. Now employees, we cover employees because an employee can make or break your day on the ski resort. You can have an employee that gets you rentals and they like rush you through the door. They don't make sure any of your gear fits and you have a horrible time in the mountain. Or you get that employee that makes sure your boots are right, your skis fit, all that type of stuff. And then you have the best time ever. And I personally have had an experience at Keystone that would absolutely have ruined anybody's vacation. You can check out that video right here. But that's why we cover employees. So at Butternut, how sick were the employees? Well, I, I honestly don't remember interacting or meeting with any of them. So whenever that happens, I give them a five. I've pretty average employees, I'm assuming. No one made or broke our day. Now the last category, the would I go back factor, because if I wouldn't go back to a ski resort, why would I recommend it to you guys? And I would 100% go back for that train park. It was super fun, it was built so well. So I gave them a four on the would I go back factor, because yeah, I had a blast. Once again, if you're enjoying this video or you wanna see if I reviewed your ski resort, you can check out the resort view playlist right here or go once again back to resortskimaps.com and we have a list of all of the rankings of the resort reviews and you can see how this resort or your resort compares to the top dogs in the industry. All right, now Butternut, when it came to zero to 100, what did Butternut get? It got a <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> of 41, which is a decent score, especially for an East Coast small, medium-sized ski resort. But honestly, who is this resort for? I would say like a park kid, someone that's getting pretty decent at park riding. This is a spot to do it at. And obviously beginners, you know, little on the intermediate, but more like you want to come learn how to ski or snowboard. This is a good place to be. I think a family could easily come on a trip here and stay in the town come and ride here, not get too bored, three day trip, have an incredible time and save a ton of money and pose to going to, you know, Colorado or something like that. But with all that being said, thank you so much for sharing with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another video. It's daily on this channel. We do stuff like this. Damn.